Welcome to the homework for lesson 22. This is module 7 of third grade. Put your name here first, please. The following line plot shows the number of rectangles a student made using square unit tiles. Use the line plot to answer the questions below. It has a title, number of rectangles made with a given perimeter. And this is the perimeter measurements. And these are in square units, so the, the perimeter measurements are just in units. They're in plain linear units, not square units. And each X is one rectangle that was made with that perimeter. Why are all of the perimeter measurements even? Do all rectangles have even perimeters? Well, let's think about that for a minute. Um, what we figured out in a lot of the work we've done with rectangles up to this point is that let's say you have, uh, let's say you have, a, I'm going to draw two rectangles here just to make two different examples. So say we have a four by two rectangle, right? Our perimeter is going to be it's going to be a double, right? Because whatever the length plus the width is, you double it. So it's always going to be a double. That's with even numbers here. So if we have two fours and two twos, right, that's 12. But what if we have uh, a two and a one? And then we have two odd numbers. And so we have two threes. And that's six. So it doesn't matter whether it, we start with an even or an odd or what the sides are. It's always going to be a double of something because of if you add the length and the width and double it, that's how you get the perimeter. So perimeter is always going to be a double for rectangles. So as long as we have whole numbers, it's going to work out to be an even whole number. But if we have sides with fractions in them, then we could add, end up having them add up to whole numbers. But uh, to, to odd to odd numbers uh, but we're not gonna uh, we're not thinking about fractions here we're really just thinking about whole numbers and actually I should have kept that because that picture is going to be part of my explanation and you could pick different numbers for yours but it's just like it's just a way to test our idea with a couple of examples to show our thinking and maybe how we figured it out so leave those pictures on there those things are golden for teachers they want to see that I'm going to just find a way to say what I just was just talking about. Rectangle perimeters are all doubles of length plus width. and all doubles are even numbers so all rectangles have even perimeters and if you really want to get all the points there's not enough room to write it all in there you might want to put down mention that exception that if you have uh, fractional lengths because right? if these were what if this was two and a quarter and this was one and a quarter and this was two and a quarter and this was one and a quarter then we'd end up, we'd end up with a uh, with a perimeter of seven, but you'd have to have some kind of a fraction in there for it to work out to be an, a whole odd number. But that's really we're not really considering that. Let 
Let me just put that back in there. Explain the pattern in this line plot. What types of side lengths make this pattern possible? All right, so the, the pattern is that the more, the bigger the perimeter is, the more re different rectangles you can make. That's the pattern that I see, because as the perimeter measurements, as the perimeter lengths go up, they get higher, then so do the number of rectangles. Um, you might see another pattern if you keep looking, but that's just the first one that I notice. What types of side links make this pattern possible? I'm just going to explain the pattern and explain explain the patterns means say what you see. The more rectangles you can make. And you might see something like this. There's kind of a, a step up and now here in pairs, right? It's like every two Every two numbers, it goes up one more rectangle. Like climbing stairs. So if you saw that, maybe you can find a way to describe that too. Welcome to the homework for lesson 22. It's module 7 of third grade. Please get your name on here first. And the following line plot shows the number of rectangles a student made using square unit tiles. We've done that exercise before. Use the line plot to answer the questions below. So this is the line plot. It's the number of rectangles made with a given perimeter. So you can make one rectangle with a perimeter of four, right, which is a square with a side of one. And then this is a square. This is a one by two rectangle. I mean, so, and that's, the only one you can make with six. And that's just how this goes. So like this 24 here means that there are one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles that you can make that have a perimeter of 24, six different ones. These are the perimeter measurements and they are in units because these are square unit tiles. So we're talking about linear units, not square units for the perimeter lengths. So why are all of the perimeter measurements even? Do all rectangles have even perimeters? Well, let's just think about this for a minute. Some of this work we've already done and we've seen it. So I'm just going to draw a couple of rectangles to test, just to test this idea. Are they all even? So what if um, we have two even numbers, uh, like a 2 and a 4? Oops, that would be like 4 and a 2, right? That should be the 4 and that should be the 2. So suppose they were all even numbers for the sides. Well, we've figured out this before, that the length times the width this is a 4 by 2 rectangle, right? We figured out that... <coughs> You have to double the length plus the width, and that will give you the perimeter, because you have two of them. It's a double. And you might see this coming now that if you hadn't thought of it already. But let's test it with an odd number for length plus width. So what if it's 1 and uh, what if it's 2 and 1? 
well, it's still a double. It's a double of an odd number, but double whether you double an odd number or an even number, it's going to make it an, into an even number. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you double, it's going to make an even number. There is one exception to this, though, and we'll think about that later. Maybe it's occurred to you already. So, but for right now, we're just thinking about whole. We're just thinking about these whole number sides, and that's kind of a hint right there. So, how do I say this? Um, and leave those pictures there, because that's a test. It shows some of the thinking that we did to figure this out. And you're going to need it because it's part of your explanation. All rectangle perimeters are even. Because they are doubles of length plus width. I can't think of a simpler way to say it, but you might have a different way to say it, or maybe a better way to say it. And you might have think about that little thing I said was a hint earlier. That's coming up in this next question. Explain the pattern in the line plot. What types of side lengths make this pattern possible? So that's a curious question. What types of side lengths I mean, we just we already looked at it. That doesn't matter if they're even or odd, right? You're still going to get even perimeters. But let's just look at this. You might notice that first thing you might notice. Just pause the video and think about what do you see. All right. Um, it's easy to say you see this maybe that as the uh, perimeter measurements go higher, so do the number of rectangles. There's something else you might notice. If you pause the video and take another look, if you haven't seen it already. All right. There's another pattern here. You might notice that this is not just going up. It's going up like steps in pairs like that. Two at a time. See how that works? And that's what this question is about, I think. Explain the pattern in the line plot. What types of side links make this pattern possible? So explain the pattern means just describe it. So what do you see? I see that every two even numbers, it goes up one rectangle. Something like that. It's not exactly true because if I went from yeah, it just still works. Okay, so let's just say it like that. Every, there might be a better way to say it. Every two even numbers starting with four and six. The number of rectangles goes up by one. Now, if all you saw was it is they get you get more rectangles as the things get higher, then you know write that. If that's what you saw, then write that because that's definitely a pattern. And now this question is the one that really makes me think about it is what types of side links make this pattern possible? Well, think about this. Um, I made a little hint about this before. This is kind of a fun math puzzle. It just gets you to think about, you know, how do you, you think you've discovered a rule, but like what could break that rule? And here's something that you might not think about is, let me draw a picture to show what I mean. 
So it doesn't matter if the side lengths are even or odd, right? So what if I have a, a rectangle that's here, that's 1 by 3. Now this would have a perimeter, right? The length plus width would be 4, and then you double 4, and you get 8, and that's an even number. So that's an even numbered perimeter, and that's one of the ones for, for 8 right here. Um, no, for 4. 4, 8, that's one of the 8s, right. So, um, but what if there were fractions? What if this was 1 and a fourth, and 3 and a fourth, and 1 and a fourth, and 3 and a fourth? Now you're looking at this perimeter, and it's the same perimeter. It's still 8, but it has 4 fourths added together also. That's one more, which would make it a perimeter of 9. So and we can write this up. 1 and a fourth plus 3 and a fourth plus 1 and a fourth plus 3 and a fourth equals 9. So it's, it, we have to stick with whole numbers for this rule to be true. So that's about the side lengths. What types of side lengths? They have to be whole numbers. Or there can't be any fractions. Right, because, and, and think about this, and this will really curl your hair if you want to think about it. What if the sides were just, you know, what if instead of one and a quarter and one and a quarter, what if they were just one? Then you'd have a perimeter of eight and a half. Is that even or odd? How many X's would you draw for a perimeter of 32? Explain how you know. So look at our pattern here. So the next number is 32. Is the next even number, which is the one that's all we're working with, is whole numbers and even and these are even number perimeters. So the next would be 32. And since we have this pair already, it would be another step up, wouldn't it? So it's one more than what it was for 30. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 32 would have to be 8. Because... 28 and 30 have 7. Luis uses square inch tiles to build a rectangle with a perimeter of 24 inches. Does knowing this knowing the perimeter is 24, help him find the number of rectangles he can build with an area of 24 square inches, and why or why not. And um, does it help? I mean, we can go look at this chart. And is there anything in this chart that tells us about the area of these rectangles? And there isn't at all. I mean, we just know what the perimeter is and how many rectangles there are, but we don't know how many squares you know, the square unit tiles would tell us the area, but there's nothing on this chart that tells us how many square unit tiles he used. Because perimeter and area are just not the same. They use different units. So we're going to find a way to say that. No, it doesn't help him. I mean, except to know that there's only six 
rectangles you can make with a perimeter of 24. That's the only thing that it really tells you. It doesn't tell you anything about the area. I'm just going to write down what I just said out loud, which is usually the best strategy. If you write that for your explanation, well, wait, how would you just, just say it out loud like there's somebody there and you're trying to explain it to them and just write down what you said? Esperanza makes a rectangle with a piece of string. She says the perimeter of a rectangle is 33 centimeters. Explain how it's possible for her rectangle to have an odd perimeter. Well, we just we kind of went into that on the first page. There's going to have to be a fraction, right? So we need an example. We need a rectangle that's going to add up to 33. So then that's going to be our example. That's that's going to be our explanation. So the odd perimeter, we figured out how to get an odd perimeter is we got to have quarter inches or, or quarter, quarter length units. These are centimeters, right, for this problem. So you're going to have to have a quarter of a centimeter um, added to sides that are going to give us a perimeter of 32 because then the quarters will add up to one more. So we want to think of something that's going to add up to 32. So if the perimeter is going to be 32, then the length plus the width is going to have to be half of that, which is 16. So I'm going to write some of this down here. 30, 3 minus 1 equals 32. That's what I was just thinking, right? We have to subtract that 1 because that's what we need to, that, those four quarters for the sides to make it 1. To make it an odd number right so and then we need 32 divided by 2 is 16 that's half of 32 and then so we need sides a length and a width that add up to 16. Uh, this could be a square couldn't it this really it really could be so let's make it a square let me just redraw it and make it look like a square now that I think of it, because the like what makes 16 is two eights, right? And you could use 15 and 1, and that would be fine too. There's lots of examples that would work. In fact, if you look out here, there's 16. There's four different examples that would work. Because a rectangles, right? Um, or 32, right? We need perimeters of 32. That would be we answer that question, right? There would be eight different rectangles we could use for this. But let's call them all eight. And then we have to add a fourth to each one. And it doesn't have to be this exact one. There are others you can use. So, eight and a fourth all around. And hopefully, you know, um, at any point, if you think you know how to finish this, go ahead, pause the video and finish it. And then, uh, and then, Watch the rest to check and see if see how you did. So eight and a fourth plus eight and a fourth plus eight and a fourth plus eight and a fourth and remember squares or rectangles equals thirty three. And these are all centimeters, right? CM. And I'm just going to write a sentence near. Because it doesn't really, it hasn't really asked us a question. It just said to explain. I feel like I have to write something down to say what all of this means to somebody else who's trying to figure out what my answer is. And I'm going to say, so this is all my evidence of how I figured it out. And I say,
as a perimeter 